Hello everyone, welcome back for part two of grounding. So I've done all my work. If you haven't seen the first video, this video may not make sense, but this is the appropriate grounding uh, that I know of so far uh, to ground your, your mass to the ground. So what I've done is I've swapped out a uh, four foot, three and a half, four foot uh, grounding rod and uh, with a big eight foot grounding rod. So that is this one right here. So that goes into the ground. Now a lot of time they put a lot of uh, fill around the foundation. So I kind of at least angled it out a little bit away uh, from the foundation as I drove it in. Not too much, but just try and find some good solid ground to, uh, to drive it into. And I drove it down pretty much all the way. So um, let's uh, take another look at as you go up. And off to reposition here. So above my head here now is the um, the grounding block, which is right here, and then the entrance to the um, the house. So this is where the LMR 400 cable goes into my house. And you can see I have the service loops there. And the important thing for, for this is uh, that from all the, the reading I've done is that you want this lightning arrester as far or as low to the ground as possible or as low to the entrance to where it goes into the house as possible. And then there's a um, wire to go over here. And as there was some feedback about this green wires, this isn't really, this isn't gonna do well for lightning itself. Um, you know we're trying to encourage lightning to travel down this uh, vertical here on this on this solid copper wire to the grounding rod so everything is to kind of redirect it back that way and then also it serves an, another purpose to reduce uh, static elect, uh, static electricity or dis, static discharge so if there's uh, some residual stuff in there uh, that it will find a way to, to dissipate through the ground cable and all the reading says that even uh, like lightning isn't isn't um, the obviously it's a major factor but uh, the secondary thing there's secondary benefits to even increasing your earnings uh, to reducing uh, just like the I don't know it's electrical stuff that goes on and messes with your signal, I guess. Uh, uh, so it kind of helps your antenna keep uh, maintaining its peak performance. And, you know, I, I don't understand all the, the stuff behind, the science behind it. Of course, there's more reading to do. I love learning, so that works for me. Um, but uh, all I can say is that my earnings are, are doing really well. Um, I've pretty much gotten hundreds of HNT currently. Again, I put the asterisk on that anytime I mention uh, the amount of HNT I'm earning because over time that will go down. But this is the setup. So you can see that I've pretty much done tied downs or, or um, staples all the way down here. I, I figured every foot and a half should do. Um, and then for the uh, little green wire that comes across, it was every, every few inches just to, to um, reinforce there. One other thing there that I'll, I'll zoom in for is I was able to uh, put the, oops, there we go, everything in electrical tape here. So all this was in that professional grade electrical tape and then got the service loops going there. You can see the, the green wire going across to the ground block coming up on the underside. And there you go. If you have any questions, of course, uh, put, them, put them in the comments. Uh, I'll do my best. I, I, the best, better information is just to get on the Helium Discord and uh, ask your questions there. There's lots of people much, much smarter than me. Um, sharing what they've learned and they might also be amateurs as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this video on grounding a mast. Uh, I, I've seen some results both in my TV signal and also my uh, helium earnings uh, as I'm mining HNT. So I hope this does, does help. And as always, put more questions in the comments. I'll throw some links on to the things that I've gotten uh, from the stores that I've gotten as, as best as I can. And um, yeah, the usual, like, subscribe, share. Um, appreciate, appreciate you uh, 
participating and learning with me in this and as always big disclaimer I'm still learning this so this video could be junk and I might redo it all again and so I appreciate your your helping me out there so thanks have a good one